Matt and I are out here at the KOA campground in Rapid City. We're driving the minivan. Matt's joining on the trip today. We're back. It's gonna be awesome. We're about to hit the road. This is Area 51 behind me right here. There's the line, it's barbed wire fence, surveillance cameras all around. Being so close to the, you know, the Minot Air Force Base, I think it, you know, that one's pretty protected, of course, but this one is like the tier above it. <laughs> so it's just kind of eerie being here. Like you see the barbed wire around, you know, the camo dudes up here on the, or the camo dudes up on the hill that are just kind of watching your moves and. made it to the Alien Research Facility. It's a museum, gift shop, and special event center. So they have something called Alien Tequila. I'm about to take a little shot of it. There it is, getting poured. There you go. Mm -hmm. and that is good stuff right there. That is beautiful. So guys, we're here at the Shonshu Falls. This is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. I'll show you guys real quick here what I'm seeing. This waterfall is one of the tallest waterfalls in North America, taller than Niagara Falls. It's very deceiving how far and deep this goes, because up top it just looks very similar to North Dakota landscape. But then you come here and it's just, like something straight out of like King Kong, like yeah. Skull Island or something. Morning time out here at the Craters of the Moon. Fortunately, last night we couldn't see the sky. That's one of the greatest features of this park is you're able to see the sky with no light pollution. This park is filled with lava. There used to be active lava flow. What makes this park unique is that the lava has crystallized. <laughs> All right, Matt. You sure you don't want to come with? Let me Dude. pack the camera. Yeah, come on down. This is my first unguided cave dive. I'm pretty stoked for it. There's still snow down here, and there may be bats. I don't know. We're halfway into the cave right now. Matt's trekking down too. Here it is, baby. We are in a cave. This is sick. It goes back a little bit further in both ways. I don't know what's back there. It's all black. That was a nice surprise. I had no idea there were caves here. Matt, what'd you think of cave diving? Oh, it was fun. Kind of nervous with the snow, <laughs> but yeah, that was a different aspect. But the, it's just really makes you feel small in a big world. That's for sure. That does. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. There is so much beauty on this planet and and caves, even though they're dark and, and dungy, they're beautiful. They got, a, they got a, a quietness to them, a quaintness that makes them ever so calm and, and majestic. We're 
gonna go hunt down this old faithful geyser. This is also my first time to Yellowstone. I'm excited to see it. We drove quite a bit during this, uh, or through this park to get here. I'm gonna take a leak. <laughs> so we're approaching Old Faithful. Everyone's getting ready. Let's watch this thing go off. That thing went way higher than I thought it was gonna go. It looked like it was part of the clouds. It takes about 90 minutes per cycle for it to erupt. And then it can, around that 90 minute cycle, give or take 10 minutes on both sides. Well worth the trip though, coming out here to see it. It, it was beautiful, that's for dang sure. It's a wonder you gotta see.